Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can implement a pop-up manager. It will allow you to uh, create a pop-up and instantiate a pop-up whenever you want in your game. So let's get into it. So first thing first, you will need to create a script. So let's create a C-sharp script and let's call it uh, pop-up object. Okay and open it in Visual Studio. So after open the script, you don't need the start and update function, so you can remove it. And let's import, uh, so using uh, TMP Pro. And what I need to add to, it's using uh, Unity Engine, Unity Engine dot UI, all right? And what I need to have, so let's create serialize field and let's create our pop-up. So I will need a text, uh, text mesh pro u -G u q. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's call it title. After that, uh, we'll copy paste to to win some time. So I need the title. I need the body. I need a validate button. I need a cancel. And I need maybe a OK text. So let's rename it. So title, uh, body text, uh, uh, validate text, uh, cancel text, cancel text, oops, text. And the last one is, oops, uh, OK text. All right, after that, so I need to add, uh, let's add another serialize field and let's add our button. So let's create a button. Va uh, so let's uh, validate button and let copy paste to win some time again. So validate, cancel and OK button. So underscore cancel, oops, cancel button and let's have an okay button all right and oops i forget to add this oops no up all right all right and last thing we want to have is a serialized field and let's call it animator i need the any Mater, animator underscore oops uh, let's call it animator pop-up all right so right now i create most of the variable i will need so let's head back to unity and let's create um our pop-up so let's ui and let's create uh uh, yeah, let's create a panel and what we want to create so in the canvas let's make sure to um, choose uh, to switch to scale with screen size and let's put 1920 by 1080 all right and inside this uh, panel let's uh, resize this panel to maybe uh, let's center it, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's center it. Uh, let, yeah, let's center it. Okay. All right. Uh, and let's maybe put uh, uh, divide it by two. It will be much nicer. And this one divided by two too. All right, so right now we got some good pop-up. So in this canvas, let's add a UI button. Uh, and this button will be my validate button, validate button. Let's duplicate this. Let's create uh, a cancel button. All right, so let's put uh, this one to maybe minus 100 maybe and uh, in y position maybe minus 200 yeah, it should be nice same at this one but let's say minus 100 not minus but 
uh, positive 100 and maybe 200, no, maybe minus 200. Yeah, it would be nice. And let's change button to validate, all right? And let's change this one to cancel, okay? Uh, let's add another button as we need. So let's create an OK, uh, OK button and let's put it in the center at zero. All right, so do not forget to change it. It doesn't matter, but just for, um, for showing you to, uh, uh, and you can see, you can see basically where the button are and uh, how this thing will work. So, all right. So after that, I will need uh, another UI Text Mesh Pro. So let's create this. Uh, let's uh, put. Let's rename it to Title. All right. So let's uh, center it. Took took. And maybe on the width, let's put 500 because it's a title. And in the hay, maybe 75. Uh, put it, it's maybe 200. Yeah, this should be fine. So let's put this is my title. All right. And last thing we need to have is UI uh, Text Mesh Pro again. And let's rename it as body text. All right, body text. And same as the title, I think I will put the width of 500 and maybe the height, this one, because it's a main title, a main text, 500, uh, 300. And let's center everything and let's rename it to uh, this will, oops. Uh, this will be my generate my uh, my main text main text all right all right you can save everything and in this canvas let's create uh, one last thing so reset it uh, yeah reset it and uh, what we want to have is uh, this Okay, let's create an empty game object. Let's reside everything and put everything to zero. Zero, oops, zero, zero. And after you've done this, so let's rename it to generic uh, pop-up. So this will contain everything of my panel, of my pop-up. So let's choose everything and drag and drop it to generic pop-up. All right, so that's fine. And last thing we want to create, we want to be able to create uh, an animator. So let's, for that Windows uh, animation, and let's uh, create an animation. So let's uh, not put this in the script, but I don't have a folder animation. Yes, I I do have a folder animation. So let's call open pop-up. Let's call it open pop-up, all right? And what we want to do when we open the pop-up, it should start at uh, zero. zero, 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 and at 30 seconds, 30 frame, yeah. Let's put one, one, and one. All right, so basically, this is how the pop-up will, will pop up. <laughs> okay, so we create an animation for open pop-up. So let's create another one for closing pop-up, close pop-up, pop-up. All right, so let's record it and it should start at one and at 30th frame, yeah, I'm 30, yeah, it should do, it should, uh, scale at zero, zero, all right? And if I hit play, that's it. All right, so last thing we want to do is to drag and drop. Oh yeah, I f do not forget to do that. So let's go to your folder animation and on open pop-up, 
just uncheck loop time and close up pop-up and check loop time because it can can mess your pop-up and last thing we want to do is add component and let's add our pop-up object and right now just drag and drop everything so the title will be the title the body text will be the body text the validate text uh, this should be this one uh, the cancel button this should be this one the OK button should be this one uh, and the validate button the cancel button the OK button and last thing the animation so this will be that one okay so in this part I will just show you the um, the setup of my pop-up so let's head back to unity right now and what we want to have is uh, let's create uh, an enum an enum so let's uh, let's create an enum so let's say public uh, enum uh, pop-up type pop-up type and what we want to create is different pop-ups so let's say pop up uh, type and uh, what we want to have is t b v c so what does that mean so basically uh, i want to i want to be able when i instantiate my pop-up to be able to choose what i want to show uh, sorry i didn't explain it but i will explain it right now so basically i did a generic pop-up so oh yeah just let me just uh fix something yeah it should be like this all right so basically what i want to do is to be able to create a, an instantiator pop-up whenever you i want in my game and what i want to do is to be able to call this pop-up and if I want just um, see the title with one button or maybe see the main text with validate and cancel or maybe see the title with just validate and cancel etc etc so I want I, I want to be able to to instantiate this pop-up as I want if I want this kind of pop-up maybe like this and maybe I don't I don't want the body text I want to be able to instantiate this kind of pop-up and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can do that without duplicate every prefab and do all the stuff and make a prefab for any any pop-up type this one will be more generic this is the purpose of this tutorial so this is why in this um, in this pop-up type I want to be able so uh, to choose what what I want to sh to the pop-up show me so basically it's T B V C so T for the title B for the body V for the validate and C for cancel so basically in if I choose this type of pop-up I just want to show you uh, this so basically title body validate and cancel button okay so I will do all the oh, sorry I will do the rest of the list so uh, let's comment this and let's say title uh, title body validate cancel all right after that let's copy paste it so all right so basically uh, I did uh, all the um, all the possibility I want. So uh, the title body validate cancel, just the title body and with one button, the title with the two button, the title with one button, the body with the two button, and the body with one button without the title. And um, last thing we want to create is uh, let's hide in inspector and let's make it public. Uh, uh, pop up type and let's call it uh, pop up type okay 
And uh, last thing for this video, uh, for this part one, so let's create our function. So let's say public uh, show up, uh, public, sorry, void show up type. And let's put in parameter pop up type my type, all right? And what we want to create is underscore pop up type will be equal of my type. And we want to switch on, uh, so switch, uh, switch on type. Okay. All right. So the first thing is uh, again, title body valided cancel. So basically what I want to have is uh, underscore, so title uh, dot game object again title dot game object dot set active oops I forget the t dot set active will be equal to true after the title it should be the body so let's say body body text dot uh, game object equal to true. After that, we need the validate button. So let's say validate button um, dot game object dot set active will be equal to true. And last uh, and the other one cancel button dot set active dot sorry dot game object dot set active oops, set active will be equal to true. Okay, and last one, so okay button dot game object dot set active will be equal to false. Okay, and I will do the same for the, the rest of this case. So for this one, uh, this should be the title body and okay to true. So this one should be a false, false, false. And the OK button should be a true. Uh, next thing is should uh, be the validate and cancel. So let's copy paste this one. OK. And uh, title should be true. Body should be false. Validate cancel should be true. And OK should be false. OK. And this one title OK should be true. And the rest should be false. So let's copy paste this one. So false, 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 true. This one body should be true. Validate should be true. Cancel should be true. So let's take this one again. And let's put the title at false. And the last one is the uh, body and OK should be true. So this one should be false. OK, guys, this is the end of part one of this tutorial. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, if you if you like it, just thumb up and comment. If you just like it, just like. But again, help me to improve. Again, sorry if I misspell some word. It's not my native language. I try to improve myself. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the uh, next video. Bye-bye.